Hey guys. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I don't want to ramble on, but I have been sick as a dog. Literally in bed the whole week, all day. It was absolutely terrible. I'm starting to actually feel like myself again. So I can finally put out this video. A weekend in New York City. I surprised my best friend as well. She goes to NYU. And it was like one of the best weekends maybe of my life possibly. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Again, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to upload videos. I literally did not feel in control of my body. And I just couldn't do anything but literally just lie in my bed. It was absolutely terrible, but it just makes me even more grateful for my body and like when I'm healthy Wow, like I can do so much that I take for granted every day that like that sickness that just like wiped me out Obviously, I hated it, but it opened my eyes and I'm just like whoa Like I'm so strong like just on the daily like my body's so cool and I'm so grateful for like a working body Anyway, a little perspective change there, but yeah, it was terrible. It was so bad, but I'm starting to feel like really good and I Oh my god, I haven't felt like this in so long. Like legit only a week, but like when you're down here for a week, even the slightest feeling of like a little bit up is the best thing in the world. So let's get into it. First up, we have the surprise. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say sweet pea. My prediction was just gonna say oh my sweet pea. <laughs> When I tell you guys, Isabel Haig is the hardest person to surprise in the world, I mean it. Like, I can't even explain it. She will figure it out. You can't get anything by her. So the fact that we successfully surprised her, like, that was a win in itself. By the time we got into the city, it was around lunchtime, so we went out to brunch after the surprise. We went to Ruby's Cafe. I got an egg sandwich and a cinnamon honey latte. It was like a little too good. Anyway, I'm talking too slow. We stayed at the Moxie, and it was just about the coolest place ever. It was like super cool furniture with mood lighting. There was this little outdoor area with skylights. We're going to see the room that I haven't been able to see yet. It's a surprise. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! No way! Are you actually kidding? What the heck? Oh my god! What? This is crazy! What the heck? Oh my gosh, is this the bathroom? Yeah. Oh my. Holy modern! Look at that! Oh my gosh! That is sick! Everyone has their own TV! Are you kidding? Like, this is the coolest thing ever! Damn! Hey, All right, we are on to the next day. Sunday, we woke up, we walked to brunch. The walk was so beautiful. It was like early morning in the city. I don't really even know how to describe the vibe. It was like not a lot of people were out and the sunlight was like hitting the buildings perfectly. I sound weird, I do, but it was so beautiful. I think we're walking around West Village. Guys, I don't even know. I'm a little bit directionally challenged. Honestly, Isabel knows where to go and I just follow. <laughs> I'll show it in the video soon, but we went to this place called Hudson Clear water. It was my first time trying it and it was so good. Like the food was delicious. Oh my gosh. I got this cornflake French toast that was like crunchy on the outside, but nice and gooey on the inside. Let me just stop talking and actually show you maybe.
If you couldn't tell by that awesome, amazing montage, we're now walking around some shops in Soho. Like how fun, I literally cannot. We went into Sephora. We also went to Aritzia and I've never been into one. It was like actually gorgeous in there. The H&M in Soho is bougie, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this, like the white brick, the tall ceilings, it was beautiful. We went to a few other places, but we had to stop at Adidas. Guys, do you know what I'm gonna get? I have been been wanting Adidas Sambas for so long and I mean when in New York City you know what I mean picking a color was actually so much harder than I thought I went in with the idea of just the basic black and white but there were so many cute different colors and different styles oh my gosh like I literally wanted them all they're just such like a staple shoe that you can really wear with anything so I feel like it's worth it okay I'm gonna show you guys what I got that I'm so excited for so first up as you guys saw in the video I got the Sambas. I know they're like a basic shoe. I get it, okay? I have been wanting them for so long. They're just like the perfect little sneaker. Go with anything, but they also like can make the outfit look all cute. Are you serious? I just got the white ones. I was having a difficult time. Like I wanted to get like the cool platform colored ones, but these are the ones I've been dying for. Like don't try and switch it up. But the thing is online, they're always sold out. And then you look at resellers and they're selling them for so much more. But when in New York City, of course, they're gonna be in stock. I got them in a size 9. Oh my gosh, and when we were walking around Soho, I was wearing my Doc Martens because I wanted to try and be like all cool and cute. I've never gotten blisters so bad, and I do that every time. Like that morning, I was putting on my Doc Martens, and I just knew that my heels were going to be absolutely destroyed by the end of the day. And I did it anyway, and guys, it was so bad. I could not walk. I could not walk! I just wanted to look cute. Like, I didn't really fully think through, but I did because it's happened to me before. Anyway, when I bought these, I put them on in the store and I was like, can you please just like scan these off my feet? So I had to put like my foot on the register and then the girl was like, you're all good! And I walked out in my Sambas, Doc Martens in a bag, and it was even more rewarding. Anyway, I cannot wait to wear these pretty much every day. Oh, so awesome. Then I just got a few shirts from H&M. Look at how cute the bag. Broadway, New York. So I did get three of the same shirts. I really like how these just super basic shirts fit. I get them in an extra small because I want to be like $8.99. And they're just cotton, I think. And like they're nice and long. So I got it in that gray color, and then I also got it in this beige mauve color. They're like the most basic shirt ever, but they just fit nice. You know when something fits good and then you want to buy it in every color? That's what this is. And then they have a little striped number. I love a good basic and a really good price. And last but not least for my haul, we went into Target and I got e.l.f. Halo Glow. Isabel's skin is perfect and she swears by this and I have yet to try it, so I'm really excited. I got the shade 3.5 medium. I really don't know what I am, but as well as saying that it like blends in and you don't really need to worry about the color because it's like sheer halo glow liquid filter glow booster for radiant skin i'm so excited to try this that brings us to the end of today's video again i'm so sorry that i couldn't get my other videos up i was on my deathbed <coughs> I had the best time in the city. I just love the city guys It's so full of life and people and ideas and everyone just going about their day doing their own thing Something about the city. It was so much fun I got to spend the weekend with the people I love in a place that I love and I just couldn't be more grateful Thank you guys so much for watching today's video comment down below a little city emoji If you've watched this far make sure that you like this video. Thank you guys for sticking around Thank you guys for letting me take those days off to heal and rest. I'm so lucky to have each and every one of you. Oh, don't cry. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post two times a week, Wednesday and Saturday. That's why I'm making such a big deal out of it because I didn't post. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.